Hi, this is Josh Clark with this week's episode of Be Your Best. Today I want to talk about leadership, and in particular, servant leadership. Now you might be saying, well Josh, that's all fine and good, but I don't consider myself a leader. But I would argue that all of us are leaders in some capacity or another. It may be as a mother, it may be as a father, it may be at work, it may be with volunteers at church in the community, but we all have influence over someone. But the question is, what kind of a culture are we facilitating? What kind of person, what kind of leader are you known as? Is it somebody who's a servant leader who puts other people's interest ahead of your own or somebody who's con concerned about me, myself, and number one? Let me ask you a question. Who would you be more inclined to go the extra mile for? Somebody who you know has your best interest at heart or somebody's all about themselves? You know, look at military culture. You hear stories about heroic deeds, people who sacrifice uh, their life. And if they live to tell the story and you, and you ask them, why did you do that? They tell something like this. They say, well, of course I did it. My comrade would have done the same for me. And so it's interesting that we can have that kind of impact in our home, in our workplace, in our community. You know, so I'd like to take a look at who is the greatest servant leader that we can model? You know, and I would say this person has had the greatest impact on my life. There, uh, there's been more books written about this leader than any other leader in history. And it just so happens that just this week, we're going to celebrate uh, his birth, and that is Jesus. Now, you might be religious. You might not be religious. But you'd have to acknowledge that Jesus has had a huge impact on history. In fact, our calendar centers around it with B.C. before Christ, A.D. after death. Um, and in just his three years of public ministry, his impact was so great that just about every religion, they all acknowledge he's a good person. Now, I would say that he was the son of God, the Messiah, um, but we'd all say he had a great impact. In fact, just those three years, his impact was greater than you could name um, Socrates, who taught for 40 years, Plato for 50, um, Aristotle for 40, yet in just three years, so profound. Now, what was different? You know, I would say his model of servant leadership now, Jesus said, um, he said, I came not to be served, but to serve and to offer my life a ransom for many. But here's what's interesting. Jesus didn't just talk about servant leadership or give a good talk, a good sermon, a message, but he actually demonstrated it. And a great example of this is when he actually washed the disciples' feet. Now, this was something that was very a, a very lowly task. Um, for him to do. In fact, the lowest servant, not just any servant, but the lowest servant would do it. Because when you would come in off these dusty roads, your feet would be gross, stinky, dirty. And yet he got down at the last dinner with his followers and demonstrated this kind of servant leadership. In fact, he said, if I, your leader, do this, even so should you also love and serve others. And so the question is, are you willing to be that kind of servant leader? You know, it's not just, again, about talking about it, but it's it's demonstrating it because actions speak louder than words. You know, a, uh, a military leader can say either, hey, go into battle, or he can lead his soldiers into battle. You know, a, a business leader can lay out a performance goal, and of course at the end of the year have a performance evaluation, or he, in between he can come along and put your, his arm around you and genuinely care about you. And, and your interests and your goals and help coach you and develop you so that you can you know, achieve those, those goals. You know, one of the greatest examples as far as a model that encourages servant leadership, um, in my perspective, is network marketing. You know, I've been blessed to spend a lot of years in that industry. And it's interesting that a good network marketing company, first, they're about serving others by providing a unique product or service that fills a need. And then they get these products to uh, the marketplace through their sales force aren't employees. Instead, they're independent of business owners. So as a leader, you have to learn how to inspire and encourage them. And you have to genuinely care about their interests to truly be effective. And so I want to challenge you to go out there and be that kind of leader who genuinely cares about others. And I'll tell you what, success will just naturally follow if you find your satisfaction out of serving 
others. And so my challenge to you this week is identify three relationships. It could be a spouse, a child, a coworker, but three relationships that you need to be more intentional uh, with servant leadership. And then identify one thing that you can do this week in each of those relationships. And finally, if this video has encouraged you, I want to ask you to share it with others and also identify, when you post it, identify, share it with one person who has demonstrated servant leadership in your life. And then let's go out there and make it an awesome week as we go out there and love and serve others and become a catalyst to change the world one person at a time. God bless.